Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning into my channel and happy Valentine's Day. If you want to know how I got this wig to look like this, well then you need to keep on watching. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's the tea. This wig is old. As you can see, the lace is already cut and this wig actually was originally three bundles and a frontal and my sister made it into a wig for me two years ago. But she needed a new lease on life and I wanted a red wig for the holiday, so here we are. I decided to protect the lace with got to be spray, but as you'll see later, the lace actually ended up still getting stained Next time, I'll probably try the Gossipy method and let it dry down and then also combine it with the Vaseline method to protect the lace better. But it still came out good, so no biggie. I use L'Oreal High Color Highlights to achieve this look. I use three boxes of magenta and two boxes of red mixed with the 30 volume developer. So I applied the dye section by section, making sure to fully saturate the strands. I really enjoyed this L'Oreal high color because it didn't require me to use any bleach to dye this dark wig. And that's great because it means less damage. Um, and as you guys saw in the beginning, the hair got really, really red. Next time, I'm gonna try a higher volume developer because I'm curious as, how, as to how red this could get. But for now, I really enjoyed the results. See, I told you guys, is it just me or is she not given red velvets? So perfect for the Valentine's Day season. So I grabbed my Chi heat protecting spray to prep the wig for blow drying and styling. Okay, so here is the kind of scary part. In order for us to get that voluminous, body yaddy yaddy delicious hair that you guys saw in the beginning, we need to give ourselves some layers. So I will credit Simone Charisse here on YouTube for this technique. I saw her do this in a video and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this to all of my wigs because I need to get that volume. So what you do is you section out each side of your hair into these sections and it's hard to explain verbally but you guys see what I'm doing and I'm using tiny little rubber bands and tying them to the front of my face to prepare for the cutting Okay, so now I take out the first rubber band, I twist the hair, like kind of like what you would do before you're cutting bangs, and then I go ahead and snip. And then I do this to each of the sections, making sure to leave about an inch of length between each one so I can kind of have like steps, and that's how I create my layers. Listen, I am no hairstylist or professional, you know, hairdresser. This is just what I see on YouTube. And so I tried it out on another wig, it worked out, and so I did it on this one and decided to show you guys. So 
So after all that cutting, what you want to do is blend, blend, blend. I use my layering razor comb thing that I got from Amazon to go ahead and blend the layers together so that they look a little less like steps and more like a seamless layered haircut. And now for the curls. So I am curling this hair with my one and a half inch curling um, iron from Conair that I got from Amazon. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I have not used a curling iron in a while. But honestly, there's nothing like it. A curling wand will not do this style justice. You really need a curling iron, and I love this one and a half inch because it's the perfect size. And then after I finish the curls, I go ahead and roll it on up and pin it up so I can do pin curls. I give the hair a quick once over with some hairspray and then I'm off to do my makeup. I was so excited about the color of this wig that for the first time ever I did colored eyebrows. That is not an illusion. You are seeing reddish brown eyebrows and I achieved this with eyeshadow. So if you want to see how I achieve this in the future, let me know and maybe I can do a video on it. So you guys can kind of see the stained lace that I mentioned earlier, right there in the middle of the part, but no worries, we'll fix that later. I decided to tack down the wig with got to be spray as usual, but instead of doing it underneath, I did it right on the lace. And from time to time I do that when I know that I'm not going to be wearing the wig for a very long time or if I have my makeup done already. So I just quickly sprayed down the lace around the perimeter and then started to take down my pin curls. Hmm. See volume, guys. Like, wow. So voluminous. So much body. I love it. So don't be too scared of that. <laughs> that layering technique. It works. So we still have some sections that are lifting. So I quickly go over it with some more got to be spray. And then I tie her down for the extreme layage and slayage. We're back. I had my sister help me with the edges. For this wig, we just did the edges and the corners. And now here you see me fixing the part and some of the lace with my concealer. And I use Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It's my favorite concealer. That's what I use on my face. And I'm just using a little bit to fix the part and the lace. And here we are, guys.
this is the finished product guys let me know what you think I love it this hair is so beautiful like I said she's given red velvet the color is so rich and vibrant and it's just something that I haven't done before but I love I feel like I can wear this all the time if you like this video please like comment and subscribe let me know what you think about the hair and the brows of course and I will see you guys in another one bye guys